So I've been wanting to get a mini PC for my desktop here. I want one that runs Linux and I also want one that does uh, have a lot of power. Um, but I've been looking at Amazon and they've got some really, really nice mini PCs and I just can't find very similar ones that run Linux. So I'll give you guys a closer look. Let's go ahead and jump over to the display. So I've got Amazon on the right side. We have um, Slimbook in the middle and we've got Tuxedo computers on the side over here on the left side. So if you look at Tuxedo computers, you go down to configure, they've got, but I want an 8 core one, which would be much nicer. This one costs over £1,000, and which is nice. If you go into uh, Slimbook, they do have the one. We'll take the Ryzen 9 version, and I want 32 gigabytes of RAM as minimum. And this one's £800, uh, well, actually 900 Now, Now, compare that to Amazon, they have a lot of mini PCs. And if I go ahead and write rice and uh, you'll probably get the good ones here. And you can see just 500 pounds, 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte PCI SSD, and it's got a really crazy CPU. But the only thing with companies that provide Linux CPUs, I mean, sort of mini PCs, is that they're just really, really expensive. And I understand the uh, reason behind it, you know, of course, they've uh, uh, got to do it themselves and everything and they have to support themselves which is nice and i would have liked to support a linux uh, based company but i got a really good price on a mini pc which i've picked up and i'll show you it now uh, this is all running on the mini pc but if you go down you can see that they've got uh, really nice ones over here uh, which have uh, just better specs if i go ahead and do a new fetch so as you can see, this is the one that I've got. Um, it's the UM960 from uh, Minis Forum. And I've got the ni Ryzen 9. It goes up to five gigahertz apparently. Um, and it's got the 680M with 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now I got this for 400 pounds, which is a crazy price. And I did an unboxing, uh, um, might upload it later on or something, but I have to say this mini PC here is absolutely crazy. It is absolute mental how fast it is. It's compared to the 5700U which is in my laptop. This is quite a lot faster than that as well. And I mean, mini PCs are going crazy good. The other thing is I wanted a mini PC to watch movies on. So it would need to be very, very quiet. And this one handles everything like it's nothing. And it's recording OBS right now and it's got a built-in microphone as well which is weird but uh, it doesn't have speakers it's got a built-in microphone i've got this speaker here which does a really really good audio um and i watch this for movies and all that and for movies it's very quiet it's very nice and it's not silent but it's very nice and i got linux to work on this let me go ahead and do ls usb oh it's got I thought it would have an Intel Wi-Fi adapter. Oh, sorry. I thought it would have an Intel AX200, which is, I'm assuming, what the Linux distribution, uh, Linux companies do have. Um, but it's got a MediaTek one. It seems to be working fine. I've had no issues with it. It's really fast. Um, it's just really crazy. It's fast. Everything works on it. This uh, headphone jack works. Wi-Fi works out of the box. Um, I was just a bit skeptical in buying it because I don't know if Linux would work on it, but it does work, and it's really, really good. Um, so I would say this is my recommendation for a mini PC for Linux and cooling is very important and because we need it to be quiet when watching movies and all that and my laptop turns into a jet engine which is just weird. Um, now this one is very very quiet the liquid cooling system on here is very quiet and even under load very very heavy load it doesn't seem to get really loud uh, but I'll put it through further tests and I might have a review of this coming up um, but the other thing I want to mention is um, the the Tuxedo Nano Pro which is on here uh, seems to be very very slim and very very small and I'm assuming what they really do is just put a laptop in uh, a mini PC's type of enclosure and just provide that. The problem with that is of course it gets really really loud and it turns into a jet engine just like the laptop um, because they have a laptop cooler in that and if you look at the I.O. on this it's much better as well. It's just a better deal to be honest with you but yeah i would recommend this pc if you're looking for a linux mini pc um it works and it's really really good uh, right that's the end of this video